Hey guys, it's time to be serious now. It's time to talk about the web, the history of social network, to be, you know, detailed. Okay, so it's kind of interesting actually. I think this infographic, it is kind of awesome, you know. Right, because right now, the year 2011, everyone is a member in a social network, everyone uses social network, everyone uses YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, you know, all of these big sites, maybe even MySpace, yeah, that's not good, but let's just start off, we need to start from the beginning, we need to start in 1971, where they sent the first email between, you know, two computers, and fun thing is what they, they, you know, stood next to each other, so that's kind of funny, and then we have 1978, the first BBS, if you don't know what BBS is, it stands for Bulletin Board Systems, you know, that, 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 that's kind of old school, but that is what they used before they used all of these kinds of forums and you know, all of these things that came out after BBS, but this was the first time where they exchanged, exchanged, yeah, I think you say it like that, um, data over phone lines with, you know, more than one person. Then, the same year, 1978, the first copies of early web browsers came out. Can you believe it? This was, you know, years before Firefox, Internet Explorer, you know, Google Chrome, Opera, Safari, because these are, you know, new ones. These are babies, but these are the fathers of the first, you know, browsers. The first, yeah. And this was also where flame wars and trolling started on these BBS even board systems and damn this was like 80 90 this was like 30 40 years ago yeah it's creepy now but it was a long time ago then in 1994 this was when I was one year old we have the first you know big social networking site that came out and it was called GeoCities and the concept of the site was that users could create their own websites so that is kind of cool right now we have you know billions of these websites that let you create your own website but this was one of the first one or this actually was the first one then the next year 1995 we had the globe and this was a tool where it gave a tool to users to personalize their own online experience by letting publish their own kind of content and share that with other people with the same interest and it's kind of funny actually because they went from 850 million you know in money in cash to 4 million in less than 3 years it's insane then we have the first instant messenger client or it must be one of the first at least it's AOL instant messenger and this was before MSN and you know all that crap but yeah MSN is I think that's the biggest one right now but AOL it was one of the first guys that you know came out and then everyone else came so instant messenger started to get popular when I was how old 96, 95, 94, 93, 4 years old. Yeah, that, that wasn't a lot. Then we have other social network sites that came out. 6 Degrees that lets you create your own profile. And this was in 1997. And then we have the year 2000 when we started to see more and more social networking sites come up. And we saw this dot com bubble burst. You know a ton of guys wanted this dot com and it's starting to get really insanely popular then 2002 we have the friendster that got launched and it's still Weibo today so you know if you, if you want to use it then you know you could and it was the first you know big things that the user base that they had it grew to 3 million users in 3 months and that is kind of impressive then we have now we are starting to get kind of close to things that we remember 2003 MySpace is launched and it was 8 years ago now 8 years
yeah it was a long time ago but myspace launched and it was like a clone of friendster and it's this is pretty interesting the first version of myspace it was coded in only 10 days so it's kind of impressive because myspace it's you know big websites still today but 10 days only that is impressive. Then we have a bunch of other sites that followed MySpace and Friendster, like Tribe, LinkedIn, Classmates, .com, Jaiku, Netlog, and you know more and more and more and more. And then the next year, this site is still Weibo. This site is the site everyone uses today, and it's seven years old. Seven years, yeah. Damn, Facebook is starting to get old, but Facebook started to get like really big in 2008, I think. 2007, 2008, they started to get you know, really big, and now they are crazy big. And this was the original idea of this website was that the the creators that created this at Harvard, a college in US, they wanted to connect UH college students. So yeah, that was how they started out. And this is also very fun. More than half of the all of the Harvard students they signed up within the first month now over 50 percent damn that is impressive then 2006 we have you know two years after the Facebook launch we have Twitter that got launched and that is a very good tool to you know follow people you know stalk people to see the latest news because people tweet a lot i don't tweet that much i mean you know tweet five or six tweets every day <laughs> okay i tweet a lot but it's mostly is my video uploads on youtube and some cool things from my blog that i share you know auto share and then we have 2008 the year oh yeah as i said 2007 2008 this was when facebook started to get really really big and facebook overtakes myspace in you know the leading social network so from 2008 you know myspace has just been going down and down and down and just a couple of months ago myspace announced that they are you know cutting down on their staff with like 50% so that is not good for MySpace and now you could also use my connect with use Facebook to log in on MySpace with Facebook connect and that's kind of you know funny then we can see the social network sites here in size because here we are now 2011 Facebook, they just you know hit that 600 million users. We have Twitter, 190 million. MySpace, 260 million, and they are just you know going down and down and down. Then we have Friendster, 90 million, and yeah, this is the end. We you know we don't know what's going to happen in 2011, 2012, but isn't it going to be kind of interesting to see? interesting to see who is going to come up here because I mean surely we are going to see more social networking sites but the very interesting thing is that Facebook got really huge they you know they are really big I think YouTube they have over 300 million users as well so they are bigger than MySpace so YouTube isn't you know uh, a small one but it's most just for video sharing but hey we all love videos and we all love YouTube but what are we going to see now in 2011 I mean it's going to be very interesting to see when the next big social network is going to pop up and you know beat Facebook or you know we have to see more we are going to see more social networking sites. I mean, they can't just stop here because Facebook got a huge market share. So it's going to be kind of interesting and it's awesome. Love this infographic. Yeah, see you.